Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Doc Ed Padama and this time we are going to discuss how to choose a proper research method for your study. But before we go on to that particular discussion, click that subscribe button and that notification bell to alert you when a new video has been uploaded in our YouTube channel at Doc Ed Padama. And if you have already subscribed to our YouTube channel, then click the thumbs up or the like button for this particular video. Now, on to our discussion for today. Research method and research design, we have to establish a clear, basic, fundamental understanding of the two before we go on to the process of selecting a proper research method for your study. So when we talk about research method, this helps answer the question, what? What particular research would you like to conduct? Okay, and this is defined as an established procedure for accomplishing a goal. So you have to focus on the type of study that you would like to conduct when we talk about research method. What particular study would you like to provide answers, recommendations, innovations, uh, interventions, plans, frameworks, so again, this focuses on the problem, what what particular issue would you like to uh, investigate on your study? Now, on the other hand, when we talk about research design, this answers the question, how? Now that you have established the what, how would you like to proceed with the study that you, are, that you have chosen? Okay, so by definition, a research design is a plan of execution or implementation. So as you can see, the two are uh, relevant to each other. So you have to identify the method and under the method, you have the approach that you're going to use for that particular method. I use this metaphor and illustration to present the difference between method and design using this particular illustration. So you have two types of mountain here in the illustration and choosing a particular mountain, either this one, the first one on the left or the right, would uh, represent the research method. So I would like to investigate this particular mountain. So you have already answered the question what. Again, this is just for the purpose of discussion and differentiating method and design. After deciding on what particular mountain you would like to uh, investigate on or you would like to achieve uh, and set your goal into, now the research design will present how you would like to uh, to answer and to attain your objective. So this is, again, a plan of execution or implementation, the strategy you would like to use in order to reach the goal of your chosen uh, research study. So again, by using this, I think this would clearly differentiate the, the terms method from design. Okay, now, we are going to use the two most uh, uh, conventional and common types of method in uh, conducting a study, which is quantitative and qualitative method. So aside from this, there are other types of research methods. Uh, one of them is what we call the mixed method. It's a combination of the quantitative and qualitative method. And uh, we are going to use these two in order to uh, present the contrast between the following. Okay, so quantitative refers to any study that is measurable, quantifiable, uses numeric values and assign these values to the data that you have gathered. That's why the main focus of quantitative in terms of its characteristic is that it is measurable. So when we talk about quantitative research, it is measurable. So for you to be able to identify a research design, you should have, again, a basic knowledge, a fundamental knowledge of what these methods are, which what we are doing right now. And after that, under these methods, what are the different designs that you can use uh, under this particular chosen method. So again, quantitative is measurable, while on the other hand, qualitative focuses on experiences of individuals or group or people. 
Okay? So, uh, qualitative is the opposite of quantitative. Uh, this does not use, qualitative does not use numeric values. It does not assign numeric values on the data gathered. It does not use statistical analysis. It does not use uh, tabulations for its data. It does not use hypothesis. So again, qualitative research focuses on experiences of people or group of individuals. Okay, now that we have established a very basic definition of quantitative and qualitative, we go to the different designs for each of this uh, method that we have presented. Under quantitative, you have the following descriptive, correlation, causal comparative, experimental. And then under experimental, you have quasi-experimental and true experimental. On the other side, when we talk about qualitative research, you have narrative, phenomenological, grounded theory, ethnography, and case study. So I have a separate video discussing the different types of design presented here. Okay, so if I want to test a teaching strategy, later on I'm going to present uh, different types of research titles or proposed research titles and we'll try to identify them using the definition that we have provided for method and design. So again, if I'm going to test a teaching strategy, two, two types of uh, students, two groups of students, then I would uh, go to this particular research design which is experimental. And I would like the two groups to be, um, the, the, the respondents of these groups to be manipulated, meaning they have to be comparable. So I'm going to use experimental, quasi-experimental, instead of true experimental. Because I want this to be objective, as objective as possible in terms of the set um, criteria that I am using. So I would uh, uh, prefer using quasi-experimental instead of true experimental, which you cannot, you cannot modify or you cannot manipulate the group. So again, with this particular example, you would be able to easily identify the design and method that you would like to use for your study. Now, these are the examples of the research titles or re proposed research titles. And then we'll try to identify using the methods that we have discussed earlier. So number one, gamification as a strategy in teaching mathematics. Um, this is what I presented earlier. If I want to uh, present a research title or a proposed research title about a particular teaching strategy. So this is a teaching strategy in mathematics through gamification. I would use experimental, quasi-experimental because of the uh, variables that I presented earlier. And then how do you identify the design? If you use experimental, quasi-experimental, then this will automatically fall under quantitative. Okay, so it's it's as easy as that. So when, we, when you have already uh, chosen the design in this particular uh, example, if you have a, a research uh, title that is under phenomenological, then it will automatically fall under qualitative. So I think we have an example sample title for that. Number two, lived experiences of students. This is already phenomenological. Lived experiences refers to phenomenological uh, approach or design. So lived experiences of students in the midst of the next normal instead of the new normal. Okay, so again, this is phenomenological, and then this will fall under qualitative. Number three, teacher's competency. Teacher's competency and student's academic performance. You are trying to identify the relationship, if there is a relationship between the competency of teachers and students' academic performance. And in this case, this is correlation. Uh, so you're trying to establish the relationship of competency and students' academic performance. It is classified under the design correlation, and therefore it is quantitative in terms of method. And then the next one, the impact of variable 1 to variable 2. Impact is different from relationship. Impact refers to the influence, the influence of variable 1 to variable 2. 
So this is the case. This is now that the the uh, proposed research title is now classified as causal comparative, cause and effect, the influence of one variable to another variable. So this is causal comparative, and this will now fall under the quantitative method. The next one challenges encountered by students in the next normal. Again, these proposed research titles are hypothetical. So by by any means you can still change the variables that you like the terms that you would like to change and so on and so forth so challenges encountered by students in the next in the ne in the next normal so this is uh by definition under the design descriptive and then this will again fall under quantitative method and then the next one cultural beliefs and practices of ethnic then you provide the type of group, community, or race. So if this is cultural beliefs and practices of ethnic Filipinos, then this will fall under ethnography. And then this will uh, utilize the qualitative research method. So basically, this is how you identify the design and then eventually the method for that particular design for these particular examples that we have used in our discussion for today. So this is the most uh, convenient and the easiest way to approach on how to identify the research method for your study or for your proposed research study. Thank you very much, everyone. And I hope you do follow my YouTube channel, The Talk at Panama. Happy 100,000 subscribers to everyone. Stay safe. God bless and see you on our next video. Bye.